Search for clues to Doc's whereabouts. That would Actually, be awesome. What if I come over here? You have earned a trophy, Doc's legacy. All right, so nothing. Oh, I have Doc's notebook. Well, I want to examine that real quick. This notebook has all of Doc's plans for the flux capacitor and the DeLorean. I'd better make sure it never falls into the wrong hands. And by wrong hands, I mostly mean Biff. And also okay. the people who play this video game. Can't let them see the schematics. <laughs> yeah, see, and here is where I'm like, I want to try to use a run button or something. Like, is there a run button? What's going on? But yeah, it, I think that that's is, it. That is cool, though, that you can, like, maneuver around and... Yeah, you kind of expect him to be able to run. Huh. Alright, let's just check out the DeLorean. Wrong button. Doc? Doc? I do love that it's like they kept all the cold stuff from the yeah. original. <laughs> what? What is it? Hot? He, see right there, he should be like, oh, Doc's right. It is. Where you come from, boy? That's awesome. Did you bring Doc with him? Mm, now I want to eat dinner. <laughs> eat dinner, watch a movie. Hey, there's the old clock. Yeah. They have that timer thing for... Oh, yeah. With the clock tower. Audio recorder. All right, handheld tape recorder. Do you want that last hot dog? Well, weird. You can have it if you want. All right, so you can't look around, but time circuit display, shoe. Time circuit switch. Tape record. All right, so time circuit keypad. I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Okay. Time circuit display. I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Something. Shoe. That's probably the hint. Time circuit switch. Looks like the time circuits still work. Now we need to know when to look for that. Handheld tape recorder. Okay. So it looks like these are the two main ones, the shoe and the tape yeah. recorder. Tape recorder. Because I want to look at the shoes. Come on, come on. Yeah. Come on. We can't stop it. Oh, great. How am I supposed to find them now? Can I look at the shoe? Thank you. All right, so let's look at the okay, shoe. Doc, I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. Puts it in his inventory. In his pocket. <laughs> Did he? Yeah, it is. All right, so let's look at the shoe. Traveling shoe is my only clue to finding Doc. Looks Good like thing I don't know anything about it. Wonder if it's like Clara, Clara Clayton. That could be. <laughs> no, that's funny. <laughs> All right. Hello there. Hello. There. We don't need no more. I still care about your bits. <laughs> YouTube poop here. All right, we're gonna exit that. Okay, so now if I hit the time circuit. That's how it works. Once I know when to look for Doc. Once I know when okay. Alright, so it doesn't look like I can click on anything else in here. So we're gonna go to the hints, see if they say anything. A high heeled shoe in the DeLorean. Something smells fishy here. Okay. Maybe Einstein can make something of this, okay. Mm. And that's what I was thinking. I'm going to have to leave the DeLorean and go look around. Go talk to Einstein. 
If you're unsure of your current goal, press the L3 button. Alright. Ow. What kind of trouble is Doc in, I <laughs> He fell in a well? <laughs> what kind of trouble is Doc in, I <laughs> He fell in a time well. <laughs> Alright, so I did that. Take the shoe to him. Is there a way you can, like, a activate the oh, shoe yeah. or something? Um, use. Oh. Let's use it. That didn't work. Hmm. Hit X to use. Hit square. Oh. Yeah, the square takes you to the inventory. Hmm. So. Alright, well, I'll just go to the hints. Maybe Einstein can make something of this clue. Okay. You have to do something with it. Is there an activate button? An X? Bad. You're not a bloodhound, boy. What oh. do you know about this, Shuiny? All right, I just hit X on him. Great okay. Scott, I think he's onto something. Oh, we're getting a little too ahead of ourselves. We're thinking about kick clicking the inventory and handing it to him when all we had to do was just walk up to him, I guess. Yeah. Well, we had to have it activated, and I think maybe. Yeah, maybe X that's a thing. Zero. Zero tolerance. Yeah. <laughs> Arcade Zero. Nice Ollie. <laughs> okay. Do a so kickflip! <laughs> How's this supposed to lead me to Doc? I Just ain't... pees all over the wall. <laughs> Arcade sign. I wish you could look up at stuff. Can you jump? Is there a jump feature in this? No. Dumb. That's what I mean. You can't run. You can't jump. It's more like... This is like... It's, it's a puzzle a, game. Yeah, it's a puzzle exploratory game. Starbase Zero. Let's just walk through the entirety of Hill Valley. Help wanted. Okay, so I can't, cannot click on any of these uh, posters or yeah. signs. Just oh, you can look at at the uh, top there. Oh, yeah, click what's it say? That. Star base. Yeah, click on it. Zero. Yeah, you have it selected there. All right, arcade sign. Star base zero. I hope Jimmy's fixed the wild gunman machine. Oh, huh. So that's supposed to be like the old restaurant diner thing. Huh. Cafe 80s in uh, number two. Huh. Crazy. Alright, arcade door, arcade sign, gate. What do you think, Einstein? You think I should ring the bell? Huh. Rough. Liquor store. Huh. I'm gonna go up and down the street. This reminds me a little bit of Neverhood on the PC. I never played it, I always wanted to. <laughs> Could never seem to get it for my birthday. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not. New bars, Mr. Figgins put on the windows. Mr. Figgins. See, that's the thing too. I wonder. I wonder if they have anything in here based off the cartoon. Yeah. Remember the old I don't Back know. to the Future cartoon. That's curious. Yeah, Marty would only be 18, 19 around this time. Maybe 19 if it's a whole... Well, it's supposed to be six months later, so he could be 18 or 19. Mm. Gonna yell at me again? On second thought, I don't really want to go in there. <laughs> okay. So there's the gate. It's locked. Okay. So the gate's locked. Arcade door. I guess it's time for a quick game. Yeah, let's just go play some games. That'd be awesome if they put Wild Gunman in here. Yeah. So you could actually play it. Oh, you can't actually, like, go in there, go in there. That was it. That's it. That's all you get. Okay, now I'm ready. <laughs> what? I was going to say I should wash this off, but it's all wet, so I don't need to. All right, like... hit the buzzer. Strickland. That's... Oh. Is it the president? Yeah, the president. Yeah, the president of the yeah. school. Yeah. <laughs> now, let me get a look at you. The principal. Principal, said, thank you. Just as I suspected. Hooligans. Hooligans. <laughs> get along now. Scat. She had to take a good look at him in order to find <laughs> out <laughs> that he was he's a hooligan. Yeah, he's you got the hooligan colors. It's because he's got that life preserver on. Yeah. I'm no hooligan. Einstein brought me here. Who are you? I've got something for you. I got something for you. That's creepy. He's strictly. 
You aren't related to uh, Vice Principal Strickland, are you, ma'am? Not that it's any of your business, but I'm his sister, Edna. She should have been bald, too. Oh, and you're <laughs> one of those McFly slackers, aren't you? Yes, uh, what's old man Strickland? Old I mean, man. What else has your brother been saying about me? Einstein brought me. Business, child. You're making me miss Merv. Well, see, that's the thing. I'm not sure why I'm here. Einstein here brought me, and... Well? I'm no hooligan. I'm not a hooligan, ma'am. I'm a, a teenager. I wasn't born yesterday, young man. Aren't you the miscreant who skateboards through town square every morning <laughs> between 8 and 8? All right, so I've got something for you. Give it a shoe. I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. All right, so use. Okay, Edna. Yeah, you just got to click on her. A shoe? Oh. Now, now what would I want with a... Huh? No, I'm guessing that's her shoe. And she's like, I remember Doc, yeah. Mm. So Doc time traveled, him and her hooked up, and she left her shoe in his car. After they got done parking. And he cheated on, um, Clara. 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 <laughs> Who's that now? <laughs> Random person. Leave that creature outside. Oh, she hits dogs. Sorry, too. Einstein. Sorry, Einie. All right, so we're going to see what she has going on. I'm assuming that's what's going to be part of the story, is that her and Doc were in a relationship. Well, Maybe. Took you long enough. Um, there's a lot of stairs. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. <laughs> You can put it down next to the other one. Much better. So <laughs> yeah, that newer. Yeah, ordered. that's crazy. Yeah, I suppose you'll be one I like the continuity with that. Now. No, look at this cow lick. Look at his hair. Yeah. Candy. But I'm sorry I called you a hooligan. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Old CRT television. <laughs> Have a seat, Sonny. You mean a new CRT television? Yeah. Hey, you kid! <laughs> Put out those cigarettes! Her chair doesn't even face the television. <laughs> it just faces out the window so she can yell at people. Yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we can do some exploring in here. Cat trophies. All right, so that's the door to the street. That's the kitchen door. So let's check out. Let's take a peek at the shoes. Einstein brought me that shoe from the past, but when in the past? Yeah, like I said, I love the continuity that it uh, shows the old shoe and the new one. What are these? My editorial trophy. Looks weird. Cat lovers quarterly. It's legitimate journalism. Looks like th the they got the visors on from the Star Trek. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. Yeah. All right, pictures. They're all wearing Geordie visors. <laughs> Is that Vice Principal Strickland? Mother never could keep little Gerald out of her clothes. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. All right, pictures, radiator. Edna, cat bowls, candy, radio, so much stuff. Alright, I guess we'll look at the radiator. Man, she keeps it hot in here. <laughs> He's just always messing with things. That's the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. And don't touch anything. She didn't even turn it on. Uh huh. That's why he was looking at her, because she never turned the stove on. Alright. 
So that's what it's that so hot, the kettle's already boiling over. <laughs> Cat bowls. He's, he's like wiggling around on his own now. He keeps turning by himself. Hmm. So I go radiator, candy, and if I don't... Yeah, that's peculiar. The water still hasn't come to a boil. <laughs> oh, was a radiator making that noise. Yeah, that's what I was saying. As soon as you turn that on... Then she thought it was that. Hmm. All right, now can I click on Maybe the candy? Maybe candy looks older than I am. <laughs> Cat bowls. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Ms. Pretty Whiskers is bad. Pretty Whiskers. About who handles her food. All right, cat now, bowls, Edna, binoculars. You just wander around my apartment now. I'm gonna <laughs> sit here and stare out the window. Yeah, see, every time I click on something like radiator, and then hit R1, and he just turns back. It's like, quit doing that. I want to look. Candy, picture. See, he keeps reverting back that way. Hmm. Mind if I take a look? Go ahead, here. Yo, yell at them kids. <laughs> yeah. Man, these are powerful. I can see Biff going into the video store. Yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't believe the filth that boy watches. Yeah, he's nothing but an out-of-control hedonist, just like his father. And there's a clue to find a dock out there. I'm not seeing it. I don't even know where to start looking. All right, so now... Newspaper? That's what I was thinking. There's probably stuff with the newspapers. You come all the way up here to chat, or you're just going to poke around my apartment like you're casing the joint. I'm casing the joint. <laughs> Yeah. That's the most likely. Uh, Strickland, how about your tea? You forgot to turn you! on the... It's spelled with a U! You illiterate vandal! Huh? So if I try going back in that here... That tea's never gonna boil. And I'm surprised you don't go in there and that turn it on. That tea's never gonna boil. Alright, let's uh, go read the newspapers. I wonder if there's a reason you have to distract her from the don't apartment. touch those! My newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously organized. Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. Yep. <laughs> all right, so now I'll talk Act to her. Activate the... Okay. Uh, Miss Strickland? Jack! Diane! <laughs> I know what you're doing behind that tree! <laughs> Is that a little story about yes. Jack and Diane? <laughs> Who's that? The song. Here's a little story about Jack and Diane. <laughs> when did you lose your shoe? What's with all these new paper? Nice, bino nice binoculars. <laughs> Doing some stargazing? No, I set my sights on the lower things. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Cannon! Tiff. So Biff apparently has a daughter. Huh. I'm assuming Tiffany. No. Yeah. That's a nice pair of binoculars you got there. Shoe? shoe? That shoe over there. Oh, that shoe! <laughs> Hi, what a nosy Nelly! No one likes a busybody, you know. But, you know. Oh, fine, let me think about it. Uh, yes, I. Remember, I lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. Probably Einstein. Oh, yes. The day that speakeasy burned down. <laughs> the speakeasy? The speakeasy. In Hill Valley? Hmm. Don't act so surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. Sin has been on the proud Hill Valley since the day it was founded. An illegal speakeasy. Cool. <laughs> wow, a speakeasy. That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize the past, young man. Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town while honest citizens quaked in their beds. Where was that speakeasy? So where was it? That speakeasy that burned down, I mean. So that we're gonna have to go to the speakeasy and probably do some stuff. Hooch. No, I, I'm just curious. Where 
stories, that's all. I'm a student of history. Student of history? My <laughs> Aunt Fanny! <laughs> yeah, you know, generation of hooligans and slackers could give two right things about history. Miss Strickland? Oh, video huh. store! <laughs> huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. Right where that disgusting, yeah, disgusting. video disgusting. Hey, Reynolds store squats today. That's so weird, because i got to remember this is taking place in 86. Yeah. Following year, as I recall. I wonder if they would have a Nintendo in there, then. Alright, newspapers. This is my personal archive. I've got every issue of the Hill Valley Telegraph ever published. Get out. Every single issue. Then I wonder who it would be from. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta you gotta distract her with the heater, so she goes in and checks the tea. Yeah, and then you can uh, check the newspapers out while she's in, away. That's what I was wondering though. In the newspapers, I was thinking, well, I wonder if it's gonna have it when they went back. But I think they went back in 1855. Oh yeah. I was quite a reporter back in the day. In 1855, ma'am. Just insult her, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Alright, so. Don't let me keep you from your business. You there! Don't even think about tossing that Kleenex <clears throat> on the ground! Alright, so like what you said, probably come over here, turn that on to distract her, and then we can come over here and goof with the newspapers. So I'm gonna go to the hint to see if it says the same thing. Edna lost her shoe during the age of prohibition when illegal drinking establishment burned down. What went up in its place? Question mark. You're looking for a date. You'll find it on a building. Okay. Try using Edna's binoculars to check out the video store. Oh, okay. But, but we still probably need her to leave. I still want to check out the newspapers. All right, so there she goes now. If I had a run button, yeah, <laughs> just knocks them all on the ground. Nice. Nice picture. <laughs> That's awesome. That's it. I wonder if you can keep clicking in here and. Round mansion destroyed. 1962. No, no, that's not where Doc's stranded. Mm. All right, Einstein brought me this shoe. And Miss Strickland lost the shoe on the day the speakeasy burned down. But when did the speakeasy burn down? Yeah. I just need to know the year. Oh. I wonder if I can keep clicking in here. I just want to see what happens if you yeah. keep clicking. Firm announces plans for Lone Pine Mall. Peabody Ranch to be rezoned for commercial development. So they're getting rid of his farm. I'm looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. Let's we'll see what else if he starts repeating. Clint Eastwood plunges to death on runaway train. That's funny, right off based out of the third film. You know, we're still uh -huh. looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. October 28, 1985. Authorities still mystified by Maul's shootout. Oh, that's where Doc you know, Brown was shot down. Oh, yeah, with a. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. Whatever the Russians or whatever. Yeah, I can't think of their, what they called them. October yeah. 28, 1985. All right, so. Authorities still mystified by. Repeating that one, so it seems like we're going to repeat it. The yeah. Libyans. Oh, oh Libyans. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. All right, let's go over here and grab the binoculars. Yeah, mind if I use your binoculars for a sec? Oh, the year is. The year is on the video rental store. Valley Video. He's moving that around himself. 19, 1932. Rebuilt February of 1932. Rebuilt in February 1932. February. It must have happened before then. But when? I need a date. Don't look at me. Huh. I'm far too old 
for you. What? <laughs> All right, so 1932. I told you not to touch those. <laughs> Got to get her out of the room again. Wonder if there's anything else we can click on with her gone. It's a whistle. I think I already clicked on pretty much everything else. There's really nothing else to do. Just keep checking the newspapers. Is there? Can you check the other stacks of newspapers, or is that the only stack? Nah, it's just the radiator, candy, cat bowls, binoculars, newspapers. Okay. I'll check the newspapers and then. Let's yeah. see. Ground broken on sight of former speakeasy. Singer vanishes. Hill Valley Expo delights. Now ground. it's like a story. Soup kitchen exposed. Camera Here movement. We go. Speakeasy arsonist slain. Legal procedure gave way to old-fashioned vengeance last night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley Police Station. The suspect in the speakeasy arson case, a drifter known as Carl Sagan, <laughs> was pulled from his... Carl Sagan? It's Doc! Killed by a mob... What's the date? June 14, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. So now we gotta go back to the 30s. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Knock them all on the ground. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Strickland. Uh, let me... That's awesome. Get out, get out, get out. I love her face. Help. How angry she looks. Police, <laughs> I'm being attacked by hooligans. <laughs> he should have asked her, do you know Carl Sagan? <laughs> yeah. Why is he dressed like that now? 1646. He's dre oh, I guess, yeah, he's prepping to Why go back. Oh, that's the been, that's the. Son? And what are you doing in that getup? The apartment, the house number. 16, yeah. 16. I was wondering why he's yeah. dressed like that, but it's a work uniform. Yeah. Uh, dressed for Halloween party. Weird. What What's the date? I don't know. It's a uh, costume. Uh, tonight's the big uh, Halloween party. Halloween party in May. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's May fourteenth. Never mind. You don't have to explain. I'm sure whatever it is you're up to, you know what you're doing, right? I hope so. Hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Wish my dad had understood that. <laughs> you won't stay away too long. You barely know I was... Gotta around. go out on a limb? No. Because <laughs> he's always peeping in, in his... Go, good old peeping Tom George. Yeah. <laughs> Time circuit switch, okay. So now we gotta program the time. Okay, so what do you have to do? What did Doc say? First, you turn the time circuits on. Time circuits on. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this readout tells you where you're going, this readout tells you where you are, this one tells you where you were. Okay, if Doc's gonna get killed on June 14th, 1931, just show up the day before and get him out. I hope you know what you're doing, Doc. Moon's gonna glitch out. Yeah. Alright, looks like we're going back to the past, and I'm gonna hand it off to you, even though there's not really a whole lot of gameplay to be had. It's mostly just story. Yeah.